Hi guys, this is going to be just a general reading for anybody watching, anybody who needs some guidance right now. What are the most important messages for the situations that my viewers are dealing with? We have hiding feelings. So somebody is hiding their true feelings about you. Um, they could be pretending to be your friend and then behind your back they're talking crap about you. Hiding the fact that they're actually jealous or even it could be like heartbroken or sad over you. For t acting like they don't care when they do. We have son. Some of you could be sharing um, a child with this person. We have Yoni. Some of you need to pay attention to your base chakra. Could also be um, feeling very sexual at this time. Let's see what else. What other messages for my viewers watching, please, spirit guides? What are the most important messages for my viewers watching? Oh, wow. We have Twin Flame. So you guys should go watch the Twin Flame video that I just did. Because I just made one. So some of you are definitely in a twin flame relationship. Be careful though because at the bottom of the deck we have abuse. So if any of you are experiencing abuse in your relationship, twin flame or not, I highly recommend that you get out of that situation. That is not um, an excuse to stay in a toxic situation. That's why the idea of twin flames are very dangerous. People often confuse karmics as well with twin flames. So it's very like, I know that there's some people that are very against the idea and I completely understand because it can enable toxicity, but that is not the true um, meaning of a twin flame at all. So if you're thinking that you're confused, so we have working on self insecurities. Some of you could be focused on yourself, your inner worth. This could also be you. you. You're, if you're hiding your feelings, you're not being honest about how you feel because you're trying to hide the fact that you actually feel insecure deep down inside. Hold on, I dropped some cards, so I gotta grab them. Okay, let's And I think these were meant to come out as well. So let's see. We have bipolar disorder. So be careful because some one of you could go back and forth between one minute you feel one way and the next you don't. So that could be someone's running hot and cold. Um, that could be if one of you in the twin flame situation is... Um, hiding the way you feel or lying about how you feel. We have transformation and letting go. So some of you really need to work on yourself or your insecurities here with that card that we got earlier. And it could be letting go of fake friends. We have the snake card. Okay. I know you're cheating on me. Someone could be accusing someone here of cheating when they're really not, or someone could actually be cheating. But we have businessman, stability, provider. Some of you are just focused on your career, your work, building your coins. You don't want to deal with um, love right now. Okay, we have marriage, but some of you have found the one, the one that you want to be with, the love of your life that you would do anything for. You want to cuff this person. It says control issues, so be careful with that. Someone could want to cuff you for control, like they want to um, get married to you. They may ask you to marry them because they want to control you, so be careful of that. You know, we can tend to be like flattered if somebody wants to marry us we can think they might love us when really they just want to control you so you want to be careful with that we have i'm hurt so somebody here is feeling hurt but they could be hiding how they feel they're not able to express their love or admit how they feel because they're too scared because they're too insecure 
because they think what if this person rejects me or I'm not worthy of love here that's a big issue I see a big theme that's coming out right now so they're not able to be vulnerable they're hiding behind a facade of being too cool or acting like they don't care because they're afraid to get hurt yep see what did I say emotionally withdrawn they're not expressing themselves emotionally because they're too afraid they're too insecure they feel like they're not worthy of love so they're hiding I'm secretly keeping some of your belongings you left someone here is obsessed a little too obsessed okay we have messy drama tea be careful of that energy if there are friends gossiping around you be careful what you share with people oh yeah this came out next to this someone's definitely obsessed someone thinks you're very sexy they want you very badly oh so that's why they think that you're cheating because they think you're so sexy see at the bottom I know there's someone else that's why they're trying to um cuff you and marry you to control you because they think if you get married that you won't be able to, they won't lose you to someone else but that's not true marriage does not solve all problems marriage does not lock somebody down what locks somebody down is someone who wants to stay someone who's in love right interesting these are really interesting messages okay what else here what else here let's see let's get like three more cards maybe three more please okay we got I need you somebody is a little needy okay let's see it's okay we're gonna get two more two more cards here Please. Oh, there we go. We got I'm ignoring you and burn wasting money. Huh. Interesting. Somebody feels like they could have been along with trying to tie someone down with marriage here, they're also trying to tie someone down with money. So they're spending money buying this person all this stuff to try to say, oh, aren't you happy with me? I'm buying you all this stuff. That's funny. Someone is so insecure here, honestly, and it's pretty pathetic. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry not to judge anyone or say anything negative, but that's not really the way to get somebody. Like, let's be real. So... I don't know who this is or who I'm talking to, but if any of you resonate, please comment below. You got somebody trying to trap you or cuff you with marriage, trying to spend money on you, trying to get you to stay with them because they're obsessed, but they're not really showing you their real feelings because they're too scared or they're too insecure. <laughs> That's weird, though, that there's this snake card, though, because it's almost like it's a little creepy because we remember how we had these two cards like they're really obsessed with you they think you're really sexy but then it's also almost like because if they're jealous if they can't have you this also also might be someone who you might want to watch out for like I don't know they might try to take you down or take you out because of how they're jealous of you or how they can't have you because see how it says burned wasting money if they keep trying to buy buy you and spend money on you and it's not working, that's when they might get upset and become vindictive, right? So it's a little creepy. I don't know. Just be careful of that energy. If there's someone who you're not really interested in and they keep trying with all this extra stuff, you know, like um, 
maybe don't don't accept the gifts. Like, if they keep trying to spend money on you, don't take advantage and say, oh, well, they want to spend it on me, so I'll take it. Because they might turn around and get vindictive or mad at you when when they realize that you're not actually that interested, okay? And it's just, it's just a little creepy because they're kind of, like, obsessed, like a stalker here. And they might see that you actually have a true love, a true twin flame, and they might know that it's someone else and it's not them. And that might make them even more crazy and more mad and jealous. <laughs> so I just don't want anything bad to happen, right? Because remember we had the abuse card, the bottom, the bottom of the deck? That's the overall energy. So this is somebody who is going to be upset, vindictive, they could be violent if it doesn't work out in their favor, okay? So that's a warning for someone out there. Anyways, um, let me know if it resonates. Um, contact me for a personal reading. My email is in the description box below. Please hit the like button if this um, resonates for you. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!